Hey guys, we're here at Walter RC Park. The boys are driving the new Infraction Mega around the oval here. Whoa, getting squirrely. He's all over left and right. All right, get it under control. There you go. Just a little bit of steering. Turn it. Oh, wallage. Oh, brushes. Hey, what is going on, you guys? Tony here, CCXRC, and today we're going to be talking about the Arma Infraction 4x4 Mega. It is a brushed all road truck that looks super wicked. Whether you get it in the red, white, and blue or the teal and gold, I happen to prefer the red, white, and blue. And I know a ton of other people that like the teal and gold. So it's really personal preference at that point. Um, it came out and it was announced with the Arma Vendetta which is a 3S brushless um, all-road car that has a really cool sports car look to it. Um, they chose to do the Mega in a brushed version, which I think was smart for a couple of reasons, um, particularly where you would be more likely to drive it. I think that the Infraction has a little bit more um, kind of versatility in, in some ways, especially because they've got the knobby tires on it and makes it all road. In fact, when I first saw this, I thought, I want to take that onto a dirt oval track like I did my original 6S um, infraction when it first came out. And that's what we did. Um, and we took this up and let my boys give it a try up at Walter RC Park. So this is what you're gonna see in this video. The audio is terrible because of wind noise. It's super windy, super cold, but we had a blast anyway. The speed of it is I think perfect for new people getting into it. It felt slow to me, but I think there's one way that it could be fun even for somebody that likes the speed and faster cars at this point because I've driven them for so long. And that is, if you had six to eight of them on the track at one time, I think it'd be pretty wicked. Because at that point, it wouldn't be about the speed, it would be about finding the best line because everybody's got a matched car, bumping and banging and grinding, spinning out, I think it'd be wicked fun. So I'd love to see that happen somehow. I'm kind of tempted to just leave this one brushed and get two more of them so my boys and I can race them up there. Uh, but I, I've already ordered the brushless system for it that's in the Vendetta. So we're gonna make it faster, guys, show you guys how to do it. Uh, if you want to go with this type of a platform, but have it go faster. And you don't have to use all the speed if you don't want to. If you want to limit it, you can do that as well. You could, you could put in the brushless, but then say at the oval track, only run 2S. And it could be pretty fun as well. So right. um, anyway, in this video, guys, my boys give it a try. They're all over the place. They're banging into walls. They're driving through the infield. And I finally turned down the dual rate on the steering and um, help them not have so much throw and it was allowing them to keep it straighter and then just time. So they weren't intimidated by it because it was super fast. At this brush to speed, they were like, okay, we'll give it a try. And they had a blast and they're already asking to go back. And that for me is a win. Uh, for, for me, having trouble getting them out to RC, um, unless maybe we're doing the, the micros, they like to do these indoors in the house and play like last man standing and Basically, whoever's still driving wins. So you try and knock everybody else over. That or we'll take out the uh, Axial Yeti Can-Am Juniors, which we've left brushed, and they love the speed of it and the control that they have of it. So you can see where I'm going with this. While you may not think it's the perfect car for you, as it is out of the box, there is a market for it, and it's people oh, like my boys feels. that want that little bit of non-intimidation factor of super fast. Um, right out of the box and then you can build up for it just like I took this little micro car and made it brushless took a little $125 car and now we've got about 350 invested in it but you can take something like this infraction and you can put as much money into it as you want to or don't want to I actually like the size of it 1 8 scale for that infraction works for me that's that style car and that size is a is a plus as well I hope those knobby tires I hope we see something like it for the big daddy infraction as well. I'm just You're saying. It, man. Um, that's kind of, I really like that. I have the felony as well, but I find myself leaning and gravitating more for the infraction because I just feel more comfortable bashing it more and street bashing with it and abusing it more than I, I do the, uh, the, the felony. So it handles really cool. It'd be really fun to have like a couple of them out here banging into each other around the corners, you know? Find the fastest way around. 
I think I would feel the same way about the Vendetta. But there's a car for everybody. I know a bunch of people that chose the Vendetta, and I totally get it. I just am not much of a parking lot runner, and so when I saw that I could run in dirt with the infraction, that would be my choice, and then go brushless with it to get more speed. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Those are just some of my thoughts as this car's coming out. I wanted to show you it on the track. I did get some laps in. It made it super easy for me to get around, um, but then we took it over to their off-road track, which had some jumps, and that was really, really fun. Um, even if you removed the jumps and just did the like an on-road but with dirt, it was super, super cool. Um, I would love to see it with jumps that are you know, more gradual and just a little bit of lift to them instead of, you know, like this, bring it down like this so the car just kind of goes off it. Because it did, I find, dig the front end of the truck into the ground a little bit. It wasn't bad, but um, super fun, guys. And Walter RC Park, you know, it's five bucks to go up there and run. And so it was, you know, 15 bucks for the three of us for a ton of fun up there. And we were up there for, I don't know, an hour, an hour and a half, two hours, till we got too cold, basically. And then we checked out, but um, super cool place. And uh, if you don't have a place like Walter RC Park, be a Walter RC Park. That's just their property, man. Build something. They will come. We will come. People come. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. As always, have fun RC, and we'll catch you in the next video.